Meet Emily, an artist who's been struggling to find a way to monetize her digital art. Emily has tried selling prints and licensing her artwork, but she's found it difficult to make a sustainable income from her creations. One day, Emily discovers the power of NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, which allow her to sell her digital artwork as unique, one-of-a-kind assets. With NFTs, Emily can create limited-edition digital products that her fans can collect and trade, creating a sense of exclusivity and scarcity around her work. Emily begins to explore the world of NFT marketplaces and learns how to list her artwork for sale, finding success in selling her pieces for significant sums of money. As a result of her NFT marketing strategy, Emily is able to turn her passion for art into a profitable business and gain recognition as a leading NFT artist. In this video, we'll explore the world of NFT marketing and how it can be the solution to monetizing your digital creations, just like it was for Emily. With over 80,000 Ethereum blockchain NFT collections, it's hard to stand out and get people to notice your NFTs. A report by Nonfungible shows that between 2020 and 2021, sales of NFTs went up by 2,100%. This gives us a lot of reasons to believe that this market will keep growing. To get ahead of your competition and get a piece of NFT sales, you need innovative NFT marketing strategies that engage your audience and take advantage of the impressive leaps in technology that the NFT space offers. But it's much easier to say than to do, and if you don't know much about NFTs and NFT marketing, it can be 10 times harder. You can hire an NFT marketing agency, but it won't be cheap. When looking for the best agency for your brand, there are a lot of things to think about. We can take care of all of these problems and give you the knowledge and tools you need to make NFT art and sell your collections. We'll talk about the best and most effective ways to market your NFTs, show you step-by-step -step how to make NFT art, and tell you how and where to sell your NFTs. Are you ready to learn everything you need to know to stand out in the world of NFT and make a lot of money selling your art? Let's get started. How does NFT art get made? It's not easy or quick to make NFT art. NFTs require a lot of imagination and technical know-how. We can help you understand how this process works, no matter how much or how little you know about NFTs. To make NFT art, do these things. 1. Find an NFT marketplace by doing some research. You can do this with a simple Google search. Check out the NFT marketplaces and choose the one that works best for you. When judging NFT marketplaces, you can choose between two types. Platforms for selective NFT. These sites only work with well-known artists who are allowed to make and sell NFT art. Because of this, you'll notice that these platforms only have good NFT projects. Curated platforms make it much more expensive for NFT artists to make a sale. You don't have much say in how your royalties are spent either. Larva Labs, NBA Top Shot, and Super Rare are all examples of carefully picked NFT platforms. Self-service NFT platforms. Anyone can create and mint NFTs on these platforms, so there may be more low-quality work. You can decide how much you want as a royalty. Be aware that this kind of marketplace has a lot of scammers and fakes. Self-service platforms are things like Nifty Gateway and Maker's Place. 2. Set up a digital wallet. Digital wallets are used to keep track of NFT transactions and cryptocurrencies, an essential part of selling NFTs. The Ethereum blockchain is what makes NFTs work, so if you had Ether, that would be great. Make sure that your blockchain works with whatever kind of digital wallet you use. People often use Coinbase as a digital wallet because it has its own wallet. The Coinbase wallet is easy to set up and can be used as a Chrome extension or as an app. MetaMask is also a choice. It works with Ethereum-based platforms like OpenSea and Foundation. You can also get Chrome add-ons and apps for these things. Once you've found the best answer for you, set up your wallet. You'll need a username and a password to set up your digital wallet. There must also be a 12-word seed phrase. Make sure this phrase stays in your mind. Make sure this phrase is safe by taking steps. You can't get to your crypto or NFTs through your wallet. The company that made your digital wallet can't help you with this. Some experts know how to get back passwords that have been forgotten, but it costs a lot and isn't always possible. 
Make paper and digital copies of your password and keep them. You'll need this phrase if you lose your wallet or want to use it on a different device. To get you started, here are some of the best electronic wallets. Math Wallet is a digital wallet that works with more than 70 blockchains and has both a desktop and a mobile app. There is also a web browser that lets people use NFT marketplaces to buy and sell NFT art. MetaMask is used by a lot of people who buy, sell, and make NFTs because it makes it easy to access NFT marketplaces. You can also use different addresses to buy and sell your NFTs separately from your crypto. You can store NFTs and other tokens in the non-custodial wallet on Coinbase. Also, it's easy to move cryptocurrency from one wallet to another because Coinbase only needs usernames and not addresses. Trust Wallet A lot of people use Trust Wallet to buy and sell NFTs on their phones. You can't move NFTs with Trust Wallet, but it's easy to store and manage all your assets on this platform. There are also a lot of ways to connect to services from other companies. Engine. With Engine, you can store and move NFTs. You can also trade NFT assets using Engine's own tokens on a marketplace. But what really sets Engine apart from other digital wallets is how quick and helpful the customer service is. Three, connect your wallet. Once you've made your digital wallet, you need to connect it to the marketplace you chose in step one. Most of the time, this is quick and easy to do. Most platforms have a button you can click to do this. When you use the web extensions, a pop-up message will tell you to connect your wallet and show you how. Users can set up their wallets on some platforms by scanning a QR code. You should be careful when random pop-ups ask you to connect your wallet. One way scammers try to get into your digital wallet is by doing this. If you use a platform with a good name, this won't happen. 4. Pick a group of things to start with. Before you make your first piece, start a collection of NFT art. This is easy to do on many NFT marketplace platforms, just like connecting your wallet is easy. You'll need to name your collection and describe what it is. Add any important things you want to sell. 5. Make sure you have NFT tokens. Now is the time to make your NFT art and start having fun. This choice is on the dashboard or menu of the platform that you chose in step one. Next, upload the metadata you want to use for your NFT tokens, such as a picture, sound file, or 3D file. This could be the name of your NFT art. There are two kinds of NFT tokens you can make, which are a sign that stands on its own. Since these tokens can only be made once, they are worth more. Tokens for additions. You can make as many copies of an artwork as you want, and you can tell them apart by using the word edition. After you decide which tokens you want to make, you can make your NFT art and add properties. Properties include the information that was made, the category, and anything else that buyers can use to sort your art. Now you can pay for the gas and click on Create. Gas fees range between $10 and $200. Before your NFT art goes live, you can choose how you want to get your royalties. But keep in mind that some platforms would have already told you how much you would get in royalties. 6. Make a list of your NFT art and tell people about it. When you list your NFT for sale, you can choose to set a price or have an auction. You would have had to pay for gas before. How do you sell NFTs? Where do you do it? Creators sell their NFT art on NFT marketplaces like the self-service and curated NFT platforms we talked about. Some of the most popular places to buy and sell NFTs are OpenSea, Rarible, Foundation, Makersplace, Mintable, and Decentraland. Before you can sell your NFTs on these platforms, you have to create an account and set up and connect a digital wallet, as was explained above. You can use as many NFT marketplaces as you would like, but you'll have to pay gas fees every time you make an NFT and list it on a market. There are two ways to sell NFTs. NFTs get bids from buyers. You can put your NFTs up for auction and let the highest bidder buy them. Auctions can help you make a lot of money because you can make as much money as you want. Some brands have made more than $6.6 .6 million from selling one NFT artwork, so it can be a good idea to put your NFTs up for auction. You have to spend a lot of time and money on marketing to make a good NFT.
If you put a low-level NFT work of art up for auction, you might lose money, but you'll find out how much your NFTs are worth. You decide how much the NFT art you sell is worth. You can tell people about your NFT art and set a price for it. From a technical point of view, this is better and safer. This is a good place to start if you're new to NFTs. You can change the prices of your NFT art if you are having trouble selling it.